Question 29. Which statement is correct? So let's go through one by one. Bromoethane reacts with sodium hydroxide to form ethene as a major product. So because here the NaOH in water, so it will not undergo elimination. So it will undergo substitution. So the reaction is something like this. The bromoethane react with the sodium hydroxide to form ethanol and the NaBr. So this one is the substitution reaction, not elimination. So therefore, A is incorrect. B. One chlorobutane reacts more rapidly than one bromobutane with sodium hydroxide at the same temperature. So first, we need to know uh, which bond is uh, stronger. So because chlorine is smaller than the bromine, so therefore the CCl bond is shorter. When the CCl bond is shorter, then the bond is stronger. When the bond is stronger, means it's harder to break, to break. And it's going to be less rapid than the one bromo building. So that's why B cannot be accepted, right? So it's incorrect. C, hydrolysis of this tertiary haloalkene occur mostly by SN2 mechanism. Actually, when you read this uh, statement, you should know it's wrong, right? Because uh, whenever it reacts, tertiary haloalkene will undergo SN1. Uh, it's something like this. If the hydrolysis is under alkaline condition, uh, so it can happen something like this. So the tertiary haloalkane, first, it will undergo CBr bond break and it will form this tertiary carbocation and this tertiary carbocation will react with the hydroxide so it will form this tertiary alcohol. So this reaction or this substitution is SN1 mechanism. So it's under the SN1 mechanism because the first step, which is the slower step, it's just involve one species, which is the halogenol alkane, the tertiary halogenol alkane. So therefore, it must be SN1, not SN2. So C also incorrect. For D, so this one is the primary carbocation, less stable than tertiary carbocation. So this is correct because this carbon is just bonded to one alkyl group and this alkyl group is has the electron donating effects or positive inductive effect so it can stabilize this carbocation but this uh, effect is less than the tertiary because this carbocation now is bond to three alkyl groups and these three alkyl groups is going to donate electrons to this carbocation to stabilize this carbocation more. So it means the positive inductive effect here is greater, so it's more stable. So the tertiary carbocation is more stable than the primary carbocation. That's why answer is D. Okay, that's all. Thank you.